Well, Merry Christmas to all the viewers, all the Purim Film viewers. We're here today at Mausel for a Boxing Day encounter against the uh, arch rivals, Helston Football Club. All the highlights are going to be brought to you by Purin Films. Josh's story too far too casual, far far too casual on the ball. Nimrod the Goldsworthy, Turner inside to Ellicott. Ellicott looked like he was trying to have a shoot. He's looked offside. It's into the side netting. And it's a corner again to Helston, looking to come it short. It's played short into Carter. Carter, can he bring it in the back post? Oh, it's just dropped short. Reuben Wilson trying to wave it, get himself a shot in. Mausol defended it very well. Carter coming in short for the corner. But here we are, Bre Bre Evans shrugs off Matty by Calver. Oh, and it's a real opportunity there for Mausel. Helston couldn't manage to get to run it. And Shepard this time. Shepard is driving. He's played in there. Carter can get his striking. Oh, and Carter is just inches, inches wide of the far post. Right behind that here, myself. <coughs> oh, Chinoth. Chinoth's in trouble. Wilson. Matty Bai, Matty Bai is driving it in the box, can he place one in? Oh, and a good save by Ch Chinoath. Bai again trying to play, it's too short. Oh! Goldsworthy coming in late on Josh Story. And it's Shepard now on the left hand side. He's facing up with Burt. Driving in, Shepard continues to drive. Into Wilson. Can Wilson pour it back into his left peg? What a chance and an opportunity. Oh, Fraser looking to play the ball in the box. To Wilson. Wilson trying to... Oh, it was... Wilson just about to pull the trigger with his left peg. Harrison Jewell, the ball's gone in and over his head. And, and he's found... Bray Evans, who's the ball out wide to Hayden Turner, who's looked the ball into the box. And there's a good opportunity there. What a ball across the box from Hayden. And we close right in. And the referee blows a half time whistle. Oh, Elston trying to do a little couple of quick one twos in. Jordan Bentley. Been beaten over the top. Turner pulling it back. Goldsworthy straight into the hands of Corey Harvey. Mausol will be looking at that wasted opportunity. Max Hill with the ball now. Left footed tries to drop one in to uh, Kyle Fraser. Pulls it back. Goldsworthy. Ellicott lets it go. It's over the bar. Spirited opening. Tom Hans showing a little bit of uh, really um, had the opportun opportunities to clear the clear the lines and thought they'd had with Corey Harvey making the save. Ball rebounds back. Hayden Turner and inside the six-yard box with Helston looking at the line and flag which didn't come, tucks it away. I mean, five minutes to start of the second half. It's Mausel one, Helston nil. Harrison Jules finds it longer to Rosencrest, who's come across onto this side now, drives at the fence and drives. He's got Carter in. Carter can score. Oh, and what a opportunity for Helston again. Josh Story's playing them on side here. He's got. Oh, and he's got in here. And he's got Reed. But Josh's Story played them on side. 
with Turner again from that left hand side he's cutting in he fancies his chances against Corey Harvey Corey makes the save and the ball drops across the six yard line for the second opportunity the second goal tapped in from the six yard line it's now Mausol 2 Helston Athletic nil. both one on ones and there again which is the Achilles heel at the moment for Helston down that left hand side balls into the box and you've got Jack Reed who's uh, unmarked on into the back post and once again I termed it as the Achilles heel of the Helston defence not down that right hand side Hayden Turner likes playing on that top side has been tormented the Helston Helston side down the right hand side another crossing into the box another tapping from the inside the six yard area as to now it's Mausol 3 Helston Athletic nil. well that's a bit of a premature end to be perfectly honest with them nothing added on at all over the uh, 90 minutes and Mausol, if you, anybody, anybody at half time had suggested that the score of full time score line would be 3 0 to Mausol, they would have, um, they would have, they would have looked at you and said, uh, "You're watching a different game." But Mausol had to be very, very pleased with their performance in the second half, where the one long ball, constantly down the throats of the right hand side at the Helson defence resulted in three crosses from the left hand side and three tappings inside the six yard box and Mausel the Boxing Day encounter take the take the spoils of this one 3-0 I'm pissed off <laughs>